today on Divorce Court. I'm here today to let Nehemiah know that I am not another doll that he can collect and put up on his shelf. Octavia hates that I collect toys, but she collects designer clothes and jewelry. I do not like him talking to other women that he's been intimate with because I view it as disrespectful. I want Octavia to realize that she's the only woman I want in my life and the other women are just friends. I want the judge to tell Nehemiah that playtime is over. I need him to grow up and be the man that I know he can be or I'm shipping out. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Octavia Fuqua Blythe. Yes, ma'am. And Ms. Mr. Nehemiah Bone. Thank you for that last name. <laughs> You're killing me over there. May I call you Ms. Blythe? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. That Fuqua Blythe is a little much for me. Oh. That's, that's, that's all. Um, you two yeah. have been dating for one year. You are considering whether you should get married. I've got your compatibility test. You gave me your license with permission to tear it up. Should I think it is ill-advised? But you have some concerns, so I'm going to start with Ms. Blythe. Why don't you tell me why you love this guy, what's going on, and why you're concerned? I love Nehemiah because he, he's, he's actually a great guy. He's mm -hmm. a fun guy. But Judge Lynn Toller, I need you to help him understand that I am not another doll that he can collect and put up on his shelf in his home. Uh-oh. The first day I moved in, to, to, to give you some background, I'm from Nashville. He lives in Huntsville. So we had a long-distance relationship for a while. Uh, Nehemiah kept saying, why don't you just move, just move with me? Just move down here. Or if you want to, you can get your own place where you can move in with me. My uh, job closed, so he was like, perfect time, move in. I said, okay, I moved in with him. The first night I was there, a young lady called Nehemiah on the phone, uh, talking about she needed somewhere to stay. This is the first night I was there. I was like, what did I get into? I mean, did I left my... Did he No, no, oh, oh no, good. what's the heaven at? I, I moved from my home, from my family, to where I only have him and his family. So, right. no, that was not happening. She, <laughs> need, she needed a friend. Yeah. The, uh, my general advice is always to women, no ring, no U-Haul. I don't I, move unless, unless you've already committed to me. I, well, the, Judge Lynn Toller, I, I, yes, ma'am, I understand that, and I, I, I've read your books. I, I understand. Oh, you value, did? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I value your views. They are very good views. I, I you know, we but talked about that. <laughs> I, no, 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 we talked about that. Uh-huh. And I told him that I'm just, I'm not moving in to Playhouse. Right. This is what I build. I don't date for fun. Okay. So, now, I Mr. mean, Mr. Had, Bone, are you... Uh, are you looking towards marriage? Are you dragging your feet, or are you just concerned about what's happening right now? I have not... No, ma'am. I'm, I'm not dragging my feet. I just want to make sure that we, we are sure before we commit. You making, making the right move? Yes, ma'am. What is but, your biggest concern with her? I am... I've been... Uh, I've been collecting Transformers for... Oh, my goodness. 20-plus years. <laughs> mm -hmm. And when Octavia moved in, it was like, okay, I need you to move Transformers. I need you to move from here to there but and, and... Are you messing with Mr. Bones' Judge toys? Judge Toller. <laughs> <laughs> Judge <What>? Toller. <laughs> Nehemiah, it's, it's... Nehemiah is 47. When I moved in, it's like moving into Pee Wee's Playhouse. I mean, oh. there are Transformers everywhere. I love Transformers. Who wouldn't love Transformers? I love them. But you walk down the hallway, you're kicking a Transformer, you go to the bathroom, Bumblebee's sitting there looking at you. We have a... Do we have a picture of your collection? Uh, oh, you please, please, actually, please. Here have... you are. Here, 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 Joe, please. <laughs> Let me see the Transformers. <laughs> that's, trans that's not all just, of them. I, that's not all of them. The story behind the Transformers is, see, as a young kid, I've been working since I've been long, 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 I've been working as long as I pretty much stand up because my dad worked in a poster shop and you need what you need. Work with it. Yes, that's so. I got him to get the hundreds of them that was in the bedroom out, but that's still there. Every morning you wake up, <laughs> bunch of they're, 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 they're there. They're, they're there. What's up with the Transformers? <laughs> it's it's been something to it's been something that I've been trying to get my childhood back. When because I was, your dad put yes, you to work so soon. Yes, ma'am. At six years old. Yes, ma'am. And you didn't get a chance to play and hang out. Yes, ma'am. Go tell he, me. He put me to work early, and, and I had really no chance to have a childhood. Right. 
So when I got older, I, I, well, actually my sister started started me on the Transformers. Mm -hmm. She bought me my first Transformer when I was like 12. And that's mm -hmm. the exact replica and of the one. And this is the exact replica of the, of the very first Transformer of the very first Transformer that yes. I ever had. Now, now let me ask you this, Mr. Bone. Has yes, the Transformer business been hampered you in your, in your dating life? I mean, you know what I mean? Ma'am, it, um, no, ma'am, it has it has not hampered me in my. It day. hasn't hampered you to, to have a girl come and see a room full of transformers. It hasn't hampered me in my life, no, ma'am. It has not. Not at all. Not at all. So no, you had plenty of women. I, the, Judge I, told I, her. No, Judge, no, he lost his virginity at 38. He he didn't lose his virginity until he was 38. <laughs> Two more years. They made a movie about it. Uh, right. <laughs> 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 he did not lose his virginity until he was 38. So I understand. I I, the, I completely understand. I really do. Yeah. However, I I just I need you to tell him it's time to grow up. Nehemiah asked me to leave my home. Nehemiah asked me to leave my family. Mm -hmm. I didn't just wake up one day and say, I'm you didn't, yeah, Just come to his door and start bringing yeah. and say, let, let with my in. bags and say, well, I, I hear Transformers, <laughs> that's a little annoying. We can work on yeah. that. But yeah. tell me your real concerns. It's, it, it's more concern, about the women and his connections. Very, yes? very much so. Another time when we were at the house, um, I had broken my phone. He left his phone with me in case my kids need to call. And my daughter had called me and I saw a lot of texts from other women. I saw, I investigated. I went to his gallery and I saw pictures. I saw pictures of boobs. I, you don't even want to know what I saw. You don't want to know what I saw. On his phone? Yes, and when he came home, I, he's treated very well. When he comes home, all he has to do is kick his shoes off, wash his hands, dinner served, his drink is poured. We talk about his day. He came in and he was like, hi, baby. And I was like, he was like, what's wrong? I was like, I went through your phone. I went through your phone. I saw that. Why do you have pictures of other women boobs and other things? He was like, baby, that's old. I was like, yeah, that's old. I'm new tonight. We're having a deleting party. <laughs> Did you delete it, Mr. Bone? I yes, ma'am. I did. You did. Make sure it happened. Yes, you were make, you were I make did. make sure it happened. Yeah. Well, Ms. 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 Blythe, I want, I want to turn my attention to you a little bit about your background and how you came into this relationship because you do have an interesting story to tell. So I want to switch gears a little bit and talk about that. Nehemiah is very cheap. So when I... you say cheap, what do you mean? <laughs> we were out shopping one day. And he was like, you bet you hungry? You, you ready to eat? I was like, yeah, I'm ready to eat. Uh, we, he said, cool, we're gonna go to Sam's and have a dollar hot dog combo. Mr. Boney, you a little tight with the money? Just a little bit. I gotta tell you what struck me when I read your information. You seem like such polar opposites. My man over here lost his virginity at 38, and he's in a room full of yeah. Transformers. <laughs> you, on the other hand, were married for 20 years. I was, you yes. have six grown children. Yes, and grandbabies. And you have grandbabies. Yes. So you've had a lot of depth of relationship experience, and I think Mr. Bone, not so much. So Sorry. do you find that, not, not that he's childish, but just inexperienced in how to be one of two? I, well, okay, I would give him inexperience. However, when you, when I say, uh, you know, when I tell him different things, like the, the calls, and not only that, Judge, Nehemiah is cheap. She's materialistic. Nehemiah, no, I'm not. Nehemiah is very cheap. So when I, you say cheap, what do you mean? <laughs> we were out shopping one day, and he was like, you bet you hungry? You, you ready to eat? I was like, yeah, I'm ready to eat. Uh, we, he said, cool. We're gonna go to Sam's and have a dollar hot dog combo. We wasn't even close to Sam's. He'd rather drive five miles to Sam's. So get a dollar hot dog. Right. right. <laughs> gonna spend and five dollars in gas to get a one dollar hot also, dog. Also, date night, date night. I was like, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna get married. We, you know, we, right now we need to work on just keeping the spice. He was like, okay, baby, we're gonna have Tuesday night date night. It's all about you. Dinner, movie. Whatever you want. I was like, okay. I, saw, I was like, oh my God, that's so sweet. He's listening. Uh, we went out to eat. It wasn't very expensive, but we went to the movie theater. <laughs> and the guy rung us up. He was like, okay, that's uh, $2.55. I was like, $2.55? He's like, yeah, Tuesday night is dollar movie night at this theater. <laughs> Mr. Bone, are you yes, a little tight with the money? Just uh, a little bit? I, I am a little, I'm a little bit tight. I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit tight. Yes. A little bit? Just a little bit. Okay. I've been working at this discount store for uh -huh. 20 years as right. a photo specialist. And, you know, 
right now, I'm, I'm trying to get myself where I need to be as far as financial. Econo economics are concerned. Yes, and you don't... And you, if you can get watch a movie for a dollar, why oh. pay seven? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Wow. Now, Miss Blythe... Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna take up for the brother over here. Oh, my goodness. I'm cheap, too. Oh, my I goodness. I go to the matinee. I got a good job. Yeah. I go to matinees. <laughs> because I don't see playing seven when I can pay. You know what I mean? I, I've got my, I got my AARP card. Oh, I my get goodness. the discount. Please tell me you don't take your bucket so you can get the half price I, refills like we do. <laughs> listen. I'm right with him. Oh, my goodness. I'm right with him. <laughs> I, 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 I understand oh. saving. Oh. I, I, honestly, I do. I mean, I have six kids. I understand yeah. saving. Yeah. You yeah. say, Mr. Bone, you have... You, the kids come over, the grandkids come yes, over, and, oh. and, and, and cause a lot of havoc. Why oh. don't you explain that to me? Well, the kids... The grandkids came over, and they stayed a few weeks. And, uh... I have a room, you know, that you know that I move the my transformers room. to a room. The jump mm -hmm. room. So, see, see you call it my jump mm -hmm. room, but okay. <laughs> I've had the children over, but we had the children over and one of the children, I guess one, I don't know which one, but one of the children was getting in a room messing with one of my transformers. You know, that's a collection. Mm -hmm. oh. And when you have a collection. You want it pristine, yes, you don't want anybody touching it. Yes, ma'am. You don't but want the boxes <laughs> ripped up, you don't want the boxes ripped up, tore up, and pulled out the box. I understand. Because that diminishes the quality <laughs> of the that diminishes the quality of the collection. So, yes, ma'am, I was, yeah. And you, and you had trouble with it. Uh, Ms. Blythe, uh, do, you, do you control the grandkids when they come over? They're, they're kids. They're kids, and those are, to them, their toys. Right. He, he shut the door and locked it, and I think I went in for paper towels or something, because it's the junk room. Mm -hmm. It's a collection. It has everything in there. And I and did not lock it behind got They're in, not toys. Got, got they're the, I get fitness. that, I get that. Nehemiah had a fit. Yeah. He was like, they were touching my toys. They were touching my this. Action and, figures. Uh, okay. <laughs> action figures. Okay. They're yeah, not dolls, okay. they're action figures. <laughs> okay. Ms. Blythe, I also understand that you have trouble with Mr. Bone's dog, so I want to switch gears and talk about that. He wants kids. However, I can't have kids. We talked about maybe um, a surrogate. I don't even know if I am mentally... <laughs> Yeah, you've raised six I mean, already. Yes, and I have grandkids, and it's like, whew. Is that a deal breaker for you because she can't? Ms. Black, I also understand you have a problem with his dog. Yes. What's wrong with the dog? The, the dog is, like, really big and really playful. When I was younger, I was bitten by a dog. And ever since then, I don't, I don't want nothing to do with... I, I don't. It, I, it was traumatizing. Oh, my goodness. That he is, dog? He's that so is, much that bigger is than my, that now. That yeah, is my beautiful puppy. dog. Yeah. He do you have so a grown much bigger picture of him now? Yes, ma'am, I do. That's him right Look. there. Oh. <laughs> if he stands up on his hind feet, he's taller than me. <laughs> he got one blue eye and one brown eye. And one eye. brown eye. Yeah, That's all I, right. And I, I understand fell in that. Love that. With well, what do you want him to do with his dog? I... Just do what he do to his dog. He see, he wants me to feed the dog and to to mess with the dog. I want, and I want you to treat the dog like it's part of the family. The, the, I, I, and he treats the dog like it's his baby because he wants kids. However, I can't have kids. I I'm a cancer survivor. Mm. I went in for a checkup, and the the cancer was the size of maybe a dime. Mm -hmm. uh, two days later, when the doctor opened, I had an ultrasound. It was the size of a golf ball. So I had to do Ooh. radical. Treatment. Treat, right, right away, because yes, it was aggressive. And at the time, I was pregnant, lost my baby, oh. and went through a lot. I'm so sorry, Ms. Blythe. Yeah. Uh, now, Mr. Bone, yes, to me, do you want children? Yes, ma'am, I do, but Is I... that a deal breaker for you, because she can't? No, ma'am, that is not a deal breaker. Uh, no, because... You like adoption or something like that, or, or we what have are you done, looking we to We haven't do? talked about adoption. We talked, we talked about maybe um, a surrogate. Mm -hmm. Ju Judge Toller, yes. I just, aside the physical, I don't even know if I am mentally... <laughs> yeah, you've raised <laughs> six I mean, already. Yes, That's... and I have grandkids, and it's like, whew. Yeah, you it's, don't know I, if you want to want to go down that road again. And I told him, if I, I may not be able to have a baby, but I can be his baby. I'm a lot more fun. <laughs> That's M you. Mr. Bone, <laughs> if she didn't want to have children, though, even yes, by surrogate or adoption, if yes, she, she was 
She was like, look, I'm, I, I've done that. I've been there, done that. Uh -huh. Don't want to do it anymore. Yes, Is that a deal breaker for you? No, ma'am. I love, I love Rose. So you willing to work with it? Yes, ma'am, I am. I am willing to work with her. Did you hear that? Yes, yes, ma'am. I'd read your compatibility tests, uh, you know, and uh, you wrote a book. <laughs> and, uh, and, and at the end, you said, at this age, I am only interested in consistency, stability, stability respect, respect, and, and loyalty. loyalty. That's right. That's all she's looking for. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Mr. Bone? Yes, ma'am. When I asked you to list five things that were wrong with you, yes, you, you said some odd things. <laughs> you said, I love my dog. I don't think that's the anything dog. wrong with you. I collect Transformers. <laughs> I need to fix my first car. I don't oh, understand my. that. Oh, my God. I love my fish. <laughs> and then you said, feed him I am not scared of bugs. <laughs> The it's the, <laughs> Nehemiah, <laughs> Nehemiah is a modern day tree hugger. He makes me separate the aluminum cans and the plastic. I have to put them in a recycle. I have to do this. If it's a bug in the house, I'm like, kill it, kill it. He's like, oh, we'll just put it outside. I'm like, hey. only two people can live here, me or it. Who's God, dying hey. today? Yeah. Hey, it's, right. <laughs> that's it. Ms. Blythe. Yes, ma'am. Despite all of these little <laughs> knickknacks and hiccups, yes, give me a 30-second I love you for Mr. Bone. Tell me why he is the man for you. I love Nehemiah because he is very sweet. He's very considerate. When I lived in Nashville, um, his 30 first... seconds, not 30 minutes. Okay. His... <laughs> His first car acted up. He made sure that he had transportation where he could still see me and we could still be together. And I mean, he's he's a good he's a good he's person. A good person. Mr. Bone, yes, can you give me thirty? Thirty seconds. I'm gonna try my best. Go I'm ahead. Try my best. <laughs> Go with it. I love Rose. I've I've loved Rose ever since ever since the first day I met Rose. Okay. I mean, I drove many miles to go see her and come back home. She Four made hours. As money as I could mm -hmm. to. to I got gotcha. you. Yes, I got gotcha. She's she's my she's my rose. Yeah. Okay. I think you two are the cutest people <laughs> I have ever met in here. Uh, Ms. Blythe, you're you you you're, you're bubbly, you're sunshiny, you're straightforward. You raised six kids, got them out of the house. You know what I mean? Yes. I can't get mine out of the house. <laughs> you you you're, you're lovely, you're pretty, and Mr. Bone, you don't yes. say much, yes. but you're good dude. You're yeah, cool. That's right. We'll, you'll, you'll always be financially stable because he never lets go of a dollar. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. What I would suggest to you guys is, you know, move to Transformers where somewhere where she doesn't have to see him every day. Yeah. Learn Thank to love. You. Learn to love the dog. Oh learn to God. love the dog. He's he's willing not to have children yeah. just so he can have you. You can yes. love his puppy. Yes, so take this marriage license, go Thank ahead you. on, and walk that woman down the yes, aisle. Thank this you. matter is adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>